Hi, I've reread this one uh, that's shortlisted for the Booker Prize. I'm rereading re re the ones that I've actually that I actually own. The others on the shortlist that I wanted to read before the winner is announced in November. I still can't get hold of them from the library. I'm still on the waiting list. Um, if any of them come up before the uh, winner is announced, then I'll quickly read through those and post a video. But I own this one, so I've, I've reread this one. And I still think that this has a very, very strong chance of winning. Uh, and even though I knew what was going to happen, even though I knew the, the mood of it, it still unsettled me. Reading it again, it still unsettled me that this is something that feels so... It feels as though it could happen in my lifetime. You know, it, it doesn't feel a million miles away that we are in... He sets it in Ireland, but it could be anywhere. It could be anywhere in the world. And some of the things he describes have happened in other places in the world where you've suddenly got this totalitarian regime where people who don't agree with the regime are disappeared. Eilish, our main character, her husband, Larry, is disappeared. He's a trade unionist. He's disappeared. Things that have happened in other countries. We've, we've seen reports about things that go on in other countries. And then it's, she loses her job because where she works, the regime sort of parachuting in their own people. And so suddenly she hasn't got a job anymore. And she is there with her four children, wanting to stay, wanting to protect the children. You know, in, in our, her situation, would would we escape? Would we go? She doesn't want to leave her father who's got dementia. But would, I don't know. I mean, she is so desperate to keep her children together. She stays because her husband might come back. But the longer that he's disappeared, she must know that the likelihood of him returning is that tiny. Wouldn't she just give up and go? Her sister wants her to go. Her sister's prepared to pay for her to leave, to go to safety. In her situation, would I have gone or would I have stayed? She's keeping the family together, but at what cost? Uh, I I thought it was brilliant. I mean, I know people talk about the writing style. I don't know whether you can see that. It's just two pages of text, no breaks or anything. His writing style, he doesn't... The dialogue is in between the text, if you see what I mean. But you can follow it. It doesn't stop you following the story the fact that you've just got page after page of text and the dialogue is within it and the punctuation isn't for normal for dialogue it doesn't stop you following it and it, it almost adds to the i don't know it, i i just really really Enjoyed is the wrong word because it's not a novel that you can enjoy because it's so disturbing. But for me, this is the one I'm rooting for to, to win. I think this has got a very, very strong chance of winning. Um, it's the one I'd like to see win. Out of the shortlist, I think this. I, I've not been really enamoured of the, the shortlist this year, but this is by far this. This is the one I'm rooting for. I, I, I don't, I, 
when I read it the first time, I thought it was a strong contender and reading it a second time. Yeah. So, Prophet Song. If any of the other three come from the library, I will read those and reread them and uh, give you another some more thoughts. But fingers crossed I can get a hold of another one. So happy reading. Take care.